Hey guys, it's uh, Chaos Pizzle, and I just saw a message on Facebook from one of my mates, and he said, holy shit, guys, there's been a massive shooting going on in Denver, Colorado, and uh, instantly I was like, oh my god, what the hell's happening, and I had a look at the news, and I've just been on BBC News for the last like 15 minutes, and it's the Columbine shooting all over again, pretty much, guys, there's just another sadistic twat who's decided to end innocent people's lives and I just wanted to put out a video to alert anyone that hasn't heard the news already hopefully we can all pay our respects to the families that have lost people during this tragedy because it's a horrible horrible thing when innocent people especially those that have just gone to see a movie and have gone for a good a good night out and then they've been shot dead in the prime of their life by some guy who, well, he's in custody, which is the thing that I'm, he better get the death, I don't know what the, the rules for Colorado are, the death penalty rules, and uh, I just cut out the choppers in this gameplay, guys, because I wanted to keep it short, but I really hope that he does get the electric chair or whatever, I'm, I'm not sure if that is what the, uh, the death penalty laws are in Colorado, but I just think it's disgusting that this guy was able to shoot dead a there's 14 confirmed dead at the moment and 50 injured, so there might be people that die from their injuries later on. But it's just despicable that this man walked into a cinema and just started opening fire on innocent people. As some could have been children, I'm not really sure. I haven't, in the 15 minutes that I was listening to the news, uh, he didn't really tell me anything about it. They were telling that this man walked into the, he walked into the cinema with a riot shield helmet on, a riot helmet on and a bulletproof vest with a shotgun and a handgun and just picked people out of the crowd and started shooting them and I just want to give my respect to the families that have lost people during this because it's just horrible I really don't know what to say about it um, yeah let's let's just hope that this fucker gets many lifetime sentences if not the death penalty because that's just it's horrific and I don't know I just wanted to put a little tribute video out to them even though it's just a recent event that's happened i'm sure we're going to hear quite a lot about it in the next few hours and hopefully those who are in hospital are going to pull through with their injuries but it's just it's terrible because now this this film that was going to be such a big thing it was going to be such a massive event it's going to be known as the film where 14 in innocent people maybe even more lost their lives to a crazed gunman and it's one of these things that I'll just never understand because he has no motive to do it. He, it wasn't even people he knew. If it was like the Columbine, like the, the thing that's going to annoy me is it's he's probably going to blame some form of video game like they always do, or they're going to make a link about it and it's going to come up and it's going to hinder the gaming community once again. They'll find some sort of link. Either this guy was on drugs or it was a because of video games. That's what they usually come up with, but it's just another senseless killing and it, it didn't need to happen and I really hope he rots in hell so this is going to be where I draw the end of the commentary not much more happens in the gameplay I'm not even sure what gameplay I'm going to just put together a game not a fantastic score or anything I just wanted to put a little tribute out for these guys and obviously we have full respect for the people that are dealing with this right now so I'm just going to end the gameplay here. Thanks for listening, guys.